What's up, y'all? True life stories. Back at y'all again with a, another DMT trip that was fucking wow. My homie hit me. He like, hey man, come come, let's go over there to TJ real fast. I'm like, okay. So why? Right, we go smash over there. Then when we get to the other dude here, you know, this nigga get scared. He don't want to do it and shit. But I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So bam. I hit it. I held it. Blew it out. Hit it again. I held it. I blew it out. But I didn't hold it for a long time because I started choking, so it came right out. So I hit it again, and I just held it, held it. And as I held it, everything started fucking going crazy. It, like, started changing. Everything started changing, so... I just like kick back, just holding it, looking at the sky. And like the sky started to digitize like Minecraft or something. It was like weird. It started doing like Minecraft and like little squares, like do 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 do, you know what I mean? Like that. And then it just said floops. It was like, but at first it was like, you know, when it started to kick in, it went boop. Poof, and when it did that, like everything got hella bright. It was like hella crazy. Everything just got hella bright and shit. But like, okay, now the clouds, they, the clouds, they start changing and shit. And then it went boof again. And then it just was like different patterns and colors. And it was like, it was like people or something. It was weird though, because. It was like weird. It was like people, but they was like in purples and blues and stuff like that. And you know, I could barely kind of make them out because it was like so many different shapes and stuff. And like it was starting to get kind of weird. So I said, I'm going to close my eyes. And I closed my eyes. And when I closed my eyes, here come the hieroglyphs. Going all which types of ways and making like the little snakes and the different colors and designs and stuff. And I'm just like looking at it and it was getting scary. Like it'll get scary. But like I said, I'm not scared no more because I didn't did it enough times to like not be scared. So as it was changing and stuff, like I started to see like, I started, it's like when you at school and you start daydreaming, right? Like, you be taking a test and you daydream and the numbers kind of get blurred. And you might see a little tiny spot on the paper and you'll just be, like, looking at that spot. Just, like, homing in on that spot because you're thinking about something else that has nothing to do with the test. It was like that. It was like I seen so many of the hieroglyphs. Like, I was there forever. It seemed like for hours just looking at it. So I just, like, kind of dazed off. And as I dazed off... I could see the silhouette like it was like a dome, right? I'm looking, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like looking up, I'm like, it's a dome. But then you could see like the metal part going down like that. And then you could see another metal piece coming across like that. And it seemed like it was like kind of netted. Like it was like kind of like a net or something. And I'm like looking at it and I'm like, what the fuck am I seeing? And like. As I look closer, I can see through it in certain spots. So I'm like looking through it and I see this, the silhouette of this dude, he like standing, he like standing over me, doing like this, like this, like he like drilling into my forehead and like I could feel like a little burn in here, like as he's going like this. And then as he's doing that, it's like a female, she come by and she do like this and she look. And then she, I could tell it was the female because I could see the breasts and stuff like that. And then she take off. And then it was like, bam, then another dude came a little bit later and he looked. And then he take off. So dude finished drilling and then when he stopped, he takes off. When he take off, wait, hold on, man, because this shit is, this shit is crazy, man. And I don't edit my videos. I just give it to you straight how it is. I'm not going to edit anything. So, it, okay, as I'm looking through this dome, it, like I could see that the patterns that it's showing me, it's like a fucking curved TV that comes like from like all like out this side of my visual, 
out this side of my visual. It goes all the way around like this, and all the hieroglyphs that I'm seeing is like that curved TV. And it's like when I look a little bit beyond that curved TV, I can see them doing what they're doing. And it was crazy because dude, he like, he finished drilling. And he got up and he walked away and he walked away. It seemed like as I'm trying to look through this shit and like figure out what the fuck, because it feel like I'm laying down. It feel like I'm laying down and I'm looking up at a, at like a simulation. Like that's what the fucking hieroglyphs was. They were like, all these patterns and shit was like a TV simulation that was throwing me off of what was going in there. It's like I, I came into a simulation being in here and I'm laying in this thing and I'm looking. And <coughs> so when dude got finished, somebody else came and they like looked and they looking and then they like start dancing and then they went on. And then it was like every couple of moments somebody come and they'll look. And then they'll go on. Like two of them, though, they did like like they was dancing or something, and they kept going on. But I could see they silhouettes, but I couldn't see like who they were. I couldn't see no faces, or I couldn't see none of that. This was fucking, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy because me seeing the cross, I understand why the cross is so valuable. Because when you're laying back in the simulation and you're looking up at the simulation. When you go in, you see the cross or the womb or whatever they want to fucking call it. But that it was like a cross. It was shaped just like the way the cross was. That's how it looked to me. It was fucking trippy, man. That was a, that was a trip. But it seemed like the one dude, he drilling on my head and they walking by just looking as he's doing his thing. And it was like, fuck, dude, that's crazy, man. It make you think about all this. It make you think about it like as if. But there's a lot of people to come into a simulation, and then it, 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 it make me think about dimensions, right? Because if if this is like all one big computer, actually, that we're in, then yes, you can probably go to other dimensions to where it's different types of beings. And all these beings and stuff in these different dimensions are all part of the same simulation of the same computer. It's like when you go into and you watch Google and, and you go on the Internet and you got Google and you got Yahoo and you got, you know, it's like there are different ones you can go in and you can search. You know, you can search for what you want or, or, or what not. But then sometimes people can go basically in on the computer. They can come into your computer through your Wi-Fi or your Internet. Wow. Through your Wi-Fi or your Internet, they can come in your computer and get your information. So, therefore, I can understand why some beings will be able to come in and out of this dimension. I, I think that would be possible because it's something like that. It's like different codes and that, that, that you have to know and in order to break through these different things. And then, man, that, that was just trippy. I was laying back. I could see the cross, dude. I could see that shit, and I could see these beings, they, the one working on me, and they just taking turns like coming to check, coming to check, coming to check. And I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. So if that's the case, right, if, if, if what I seen, if what the fuck I just seen is actually true, right, if what I've seen is actually true, this is the way I'm taking it. I'm not sure if this is right or what not, but the way I'm taking it is, if that is true, then I understand a lot of things that be said with, like, scriptural things, like when he say, I knew you when you was in the womb. Yeah, you did. You knew me before that. Because when you put, when I got put in the simulation, you know what I mean? And when you come into the simulation, you, you believe what you want to believe. So you're going to believe it's a higher power because the way this is. In order to come into this flesh, I guess this is how it got to be. And I don't know, man. That is, that, that is fucking trippy because 
I felt like I was laying back in a machine, dude. I was in a machine in the dome, which is the dome that they talk about that we're trapped in. They say we trapped in a dome. Fucking yeah, you're trapped in a dome. It's a, it's a dome. It's a dome, and it has a cross, and it has the like the net, like the the netted in the glass where you can still see through it, though. But it's still a dome. And you can see that cross when you're looking up. You can't see the bands that's down here, but you can see the one, the band that go down like this, and you can see the band that come about right there to where it looks like a perfect cross. That's what you see. And then you see the simulation. You see the fucking, like when I was seeing the hieroglyphs, they was like a fucking TV that went, a curved TV, but it went all the way around my head to here and to where everywhere I look, I just see the simulation. Until I fucking started basically not paying attention to it. I started basically uh, daydreaming because I had seen it already. And it was like going back and forth and back and forth. Evil, good, evil, good. And then like once I just started not paying attention to it, that's when I started seeing it. And it was like, it was like I could feel myself like trying to like pierce through it. It was like I was trying to pierce through what I was seeing, like, what, like, come on now. But I'm saying, though, if this is true, if this is true, which I don't know, but I know what I fucking just seen right now. So you can say I'm crazy. You can say I'm tripping or, you know, let me know how you interpret what I seen. Because that's how I take it when I seen the cross. That's why the cross is so valuable, because when we get put in here, that's what we see. Even if you're in here and you wake up, that's what you see. You see the cross. It's right there. It's in your face all the time. The dome. They talk about the dome. The dome is in your face all the fucking time. That's why it's a dome. That's why you can't see beyond the dome. That's the way that I feel about what I see. That's the way that I feel. And, uh... I feel like I'm going crazy, man, because beyond, like, going, like, through my journey, what I always wanted to know through this journey when I started it 10 years ago, I always said, I just want to know the truth. I didn't want to know who was the real God or who was Jesus or who was this or who was that. I always wanted to know the truth. So, if I seen the Minotaur that one time, I seen Shiva, whoever that other guy was, the next time, the one who, Callie, the one who have her tongue out, I seen that the next time. It was something that was like kind of spooky, but then after a while, when I grabbed hold of it days later, it wasn't scary. But at the time, it was scary. And now, this time, I see this. That's making me go hum. That's making me question this whole reality right here. Because I see how it digitized and it broke up. It's making me question this. And now I see, man, I, man, that's why the technology that, man, oh, my God, man. If that is just real, what I just seen, man, do you know what kind of, that shatters a lot of shit. If what I see right now was true, that shatter any belief system that's ever was created right now in this reality. That fucking shatters it. That mean that the gods and all this stuff is like beyond some bullshit. It's some shit that's just created in this reality to keep you binded to what's going on because this is a simulation and we're here for the human experience. So... Think about that. And I hope that's not what it is. I'm hoping that's not what it is. You know what I mean? When we talk about the creator and we talk about these different things, man, this sounds like something that's programmed into us. It's something that's programmed for us to believe. And then, yeah, when what's the name had that vision, yeah, he probably did see a cross. Because when you about to damn near wake up about this motherfucking matrix, you see a cross. 
That's what you see. That's why the cross is so big in symbolism and it's been here for so long. The cross is what you see when you're waking up. I don't know, but I'm saying I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but that's the way I'm looking at it. So, man, I'm telling y'all, that was that was the, beyond my wildest dreams right there. I thought I was going to see aliens and beings, but I seen something that brought me to a further understanding to then all of that, then all of that to me. But I don't know if I'm going crazy, just tell me, man. This true life story, just tell me. I can accept it, you know what I mean, but... What I seen was that was that was the wildest thing, and I'ma uh, as it comes back to me, I'ma hit y'all up. I'ma let y'all know what's going on. You know what I mean? When I take that trip, go back to TJ. I'ma let y'all know. True life stories, man. Thumbs up. Don't forget to thumbs me up, man, and let me know what's going on. What I'm seeing.